Okay, it is the 20th of February 2017 and welcome to Mossy Head Bake Company and we're back in Gill's Kitchen again. Okay, we're going to be doing up some bait today. And today we're going to be kind of talking about catfish. Haven't really talked about them uh, much yet, but I know that the cat fishermen out there are going to love the, the rap fishing system. And we're going to be talking about a lot of different possibilities on how to use the rat fishing system when it comes to catfishing. Um, number one, we all know that cat fishermen out there um, have lots and lots of different kinds of baits they like to use for catfish. And it can range anywhere from, you know, live bait uh, to, you know, these top secret uh, concoctions that uh, they can come up with. And uh, most of it works, okay? But when it comes to anything other than live bait, this is where the rat fishing system is going to come into its own uh, when we talk about catfish. All right. What you see here in front of me here is um, something that a lot of catfishermen know about is uh, hot dogs are pretty good bait, pretty good bait for catfish. Okay. Um, and channel catfish especially, uh, bullheads, you know, they love it. Those two catfish for, uh, primarily, but you can catch, uh, you can catch uh, blue cats on it as well. It's a very affordable bait. But, uh, again, we all know uh, the problem with, uh, with using hot dogs. Uh, once you put them on the hook, you know, they stay pretty good. I mean, you know, as long as you're not trying to cast or anything like that, uh, if you're fishing straight down, uh, but we know that, you know, once they're in the water a while, you know, that the catfish, you know, if you get a bite, you may or may not catch the fish, but they can, they can take the bait off the hook pretty good. Now, one thing uh, uh, we're also going to discuss, okay, I've just got a regular, you know, hot dog out here and I've cut it. But this right here is something uh, a lot of uh, cat fishermen uh, may or may not use. I've never seen it uh, out there on the internet on YouTube or anything. But... Um, Vienna sausage is a uh, is a very good bait for catfish, but if you think a heart, if you think a, uh, a hot dog may be hard to keep on the hook, a Vienna sausage is uh, even harder because you know we all if you've ever eaten one, you know they just fall apart real easy. You know they just like that. It's going to be very difficult to keep on the hook, but. We'll first demonstrate the hot dog. Now, you can go on YouTube, and I encourage you to do that. And you can type in, once you get to YouTube, you can uh, type in catfish bait. And you're going to see a lot of different uh, uh, folks out there that have a lot of different recipes. And a lot of them is, uh, are using uh, hot dogs as, as a bait. And a lot of times, they will, they will mix it with, uh, with jello, uh, strawberry jello or something like that. And they combine the two, they cut them into chunks, sort of like this. They put them in a plastic bag and they put the jello in there, mix it up and let it set for a while. And it's proven to be a pretty good bait. Now the one thing I'm going to pitch to you right here is, is that as a whole piece of meat, uh, what the catfish is going to smell, he's going to smell the surface of this, okay? So that's going to put out some odor. But if you take, if you take the hot dog, and instead of uh, using it whole, if you take it and cut it, and I've taken this uh, section of hot dog, and I've taken it and I've cut it down three times, okay, and then I come across the top and cut it one more time. So I'm going to cut it into chunks like this. Cut it apart. Now anybody that does any cooking out there, uh, you know once you start pureeing, you know, or mashing up uh, meat, you're definitely going to start getting uh, a lot more of the flavor. In other words, you know, the odor and the flavor. You can, do, you can even smell it. As I'm cutting this up, I mean, that aroma from the hot dogs is coming up and I can really smell it. Well, so can the catfish. Now, 
I'm introducing a new ramp and when I say it's a new ramp I've kind of designed this for cat fishermen. Um, it's, it's not as big as my big six inch wrap and it's not and it's bigger than uh, my wrap that's uh, one and a half inches long by three quarters of an inch. This is three inches long by three quarters of an inch wide. But you can see that that's a fairly good sized bait and but you can still catch uh, you know four or five pound catfish, bullheads, but once you really fill this up you got quite a quite a large bait and you can start going after some of the bigger fish. Uh, so this is going to work well on catfish. I've already caught plenty of them on it. It's going to work on other fish as well. You know that you need a bigger bait, but we're just going to talk about catfish today. Okay. As if any of you have been following me, you know most of my uh, bait applications, you know, involve, you know, using uh, a bait injector. But we're not going to do that today. This and this uh, don't work too well together. So. Put this aside, and what we're going to uh, use to put this in here, now you can put it in yourself, you know, one piece at a time if you want to, you know, but um, what I recommend you do is you go get a funnel. Now I'm showing this, I'm sh I paid, uh, I think I paid a buck twenty-five for this funnel, and on this end, you know, you got quite a, quite a large area that you could put a lot of bait in, but it goes down the funnel. You know, and that's about the size of the end of it right there. Now, what I like about it is you can cut this funnel and make this opening as, as, as big as you want to all the way up. But for the size of the ramp I'm using, I like this funnel because I can put my ramp on the end of it like this. It goes on real easy. But you can see as I put it up there, it just, you know, it just fits real, real nice. Okay. Okay, so... We're going to put this in here with the funnel. I'm not going to be selling you the funnel. You can go get this. There's nothing to it. So we'll just take a little bit at a time and we'll drop three or four pieces in here. Like that. This right here is nothing more than a wooden dowel. I bought a whole package of these at the uh, dollar store I think for 90 cents. I think I got like eight or nine of these. Um, so this is what I use. I just do just like this. I go down the uh, the funnel and I uh, that's how I get the uh, the bits of hot dog into the wrap. As you can see going really easy. Once I get that little bit in there a couple more and what you can do is you can make these up. You, know, you can make eight or nine or ten of them up at a time. You know, I'm just have them sitting there ready to go. Or you can make them up as you go. Doesn't make any difference. But you know, as I as I put it in there, you know, the wrap starts filling up. And you can Take it all the way up to the top if you want to. Put as little or as, you much, as much as you want all the way up to the top. Now again, I always emphasize this. Look how the wrap just literally disappears. You, can't, you just can't hardly see it. You cannot hardly see the wrap. And the size, the size of the, uh, the perforations in this wrap allows the odor of this, of this uh, bait uh, to really uh, get out into the water. And what I like to do is I like to take it and mash it. I like to really mash it like that. You can start seeing, see, you can start seeing the moisture, you know. That's, the, that's what you want in the water, okay. Now if you're going to uh, cut it up and then uh, use it with the Jello, uh, the same thing is going to apply. You can just put it in here, put it in the wrap. Uh, with the Jello, it's probably going to slide in there a little easier. But again, all you do is you just uh, take the hook now, put it right there, right there, twist it, and then embed the hook in there, and you're ready to go. So that's uh, you know that's just a common hot dog. And of course, you can do the very same thing. I'm going to go ahead and uh, empty out the rest of the hot dog that I have in here. 
very same thing applies to the Vienna sausage just cut it up this is a lot softer much more softer than a than a hot dog this is the wrap that I'm using this is what uh, I'll be putting uh, putting out there it's already uh, it's available uh, to purchase um, 25 type 1 fishing wraps 3 inches by 3 quarter inches again you just put the uh, put the wrap on the nozzle you drop the bits of bait down in there take a little wooden dial or whatever you're going to use you can fashion something up that fits a little bit tighter you know that you you don't have to do as much quite as much poking around with but you know just for low low tech easy to do no problem you know I like using uh, I like using just a regular old wooden dial it, now as it gets down in there it mashes up a little bit really releases the uh, the odor I can really smell it you know the catfish is going to be able to smell it but it's the very same principle very same thing but you can see now that really oozes out that really oozes out of those you know so that's going to really make a very nice uh, catfish bait and you know they're not going to be able to you know to steal it from you the little catfish that come up and peck on that or smaller fish you know it's going to be uh, difficult for them to get it out of there now Cat fishermen, I know you're already thinking about it. You would never ever use either one of these products. If you took that and put it on a trot line, or if you put it on a limb line, or you put it on a jug and went fishing with it, uh, and put you out 25 hooks, the chances you're gonna come back and find a catfish on, on that hook is pretty small because they're going to get this bait off of there and you're not going to catch them. That's the norm when you use this kind of bait. I want you to also, I'm, I'm, I'm not demonstrating liver at this time, but you could fill this up with liver, you could fill it up with anything. Point is, is that the wrap is going to allow you now, if you want to fish with a rod and reel, fine and dandy, but you can put this on a trot line, uh, you can put it on a limb line, you can put it on a jug, and you're going to have a viable bait, okay, that the fish is not going to be able to get off very easy. Now, I've just showed hot dogs today, but I want you to take a look. Now, this is a, this, this is a scad. I, I, I usually use these in the Gulf of Mexico uh, for saltwater fishing. But this could be any fish. This, this could be a shad that you get in the fresh water. Uh, you know, it could be a gizzard shad. It could be any fish. It could be a brim, anything. But if you take this and cut it up, puree it, mash it up any way that you want to do it, the same thing applies. Goes in the funnel, in the wrap, and on your hook, whether that hook be a rod and reel, trot line, jug, or limb line, and you're gonna catch fish. And you're gonna catch more fish. You're gonna have your bait uh, stolen uh, much fewer times it's just more productive, that's all there is to it. So this is a very simple way of doing it. Now, there are plenty of baits out there. I'm just gonna, I'm not going to go through and sh actually make the bait for you, but the reason I'm showing this to you is for information purposes only. There's lots of things out there you need to be thinking about. At Mossyhead Bait Company and Rat Fishing System, we want you to get, get you to thinking differently about bait. And th consider this. I just went and, and bought anchovies that are an oil, okay? <laughs> Anybody's ever opened up one of these tins, you know this is, uh, has a very potent smell to it. Anchovies, uh, you can catch catfish on these, but they're almost impossible to keep on the hook. You can go buy chub mackerel, okay? Very cheap. I mean, I think I paid $1.26 for this can, okay? Again, when you open this can, you're going to get that powerful fish smell out of it. You can go buy regular canned cat food that has fish and all kinds of stuff in it. Okay, now, 
Uh, again, you can use the funnel with this, but when you start getting into stuff like this, you can kind of maybe put, some, uh, put something in there to make it a little bit more pliable. And when you do that, you can start using the, uh, the bait injector again. Um, so just plain old canned cat food. Uh, a lot of cat fishermen know they'll use this in dog food to attract the catfish. They'll put it in bags and stuff like that. And it attracts the catfish. Well, why not use it for bait? Using the wrap fishing system, you now can put this in this. Some other examples. Small can. Same. When you look at the ingredients, it's got fish, sardines, and sauce. And that sauce is going to be uh, some type of oil, you know, mixed in with, the, you know, some artificial stuff to, to smell like shrimp and fish and stuff like that. But makes a pretty good catfish bait. But, you know, you can't keep that on a hook. But, again, with the rat fishing system, you can. You can keep that on a hook. You can make a viable bait out of that. And it's not expensive. Consider mince clams. When you go in there and you start looking at this stuff now, uh, I want you to start thinking about fish bait, okay? How about making a cocktail bait? Let's use some clams. Let's use some cat, cat food. Let's use some sardines. And, okay, let's throw some... Vienna sausage in there, or maybe we want to throw some Vienna sausage with some hot dogs, or maybe we want to take this and mix it with garlic, and then mix all this stuff together. Make it into a nice uh, chum, um, and then put it in the wrap. You can see where I'm going with this. It's really up to the imagination of the fishermen. And man, I tell you what, cat fishermen have really good imaginations. And remember, don't forget this ingredient right here. I, I don't sell this stuff, but I'll tell you what, menhaden oil mixed with any of this stuff right here is going to give it even more of an attraction for catfish. Now, this is uh, February uh, in Florida, so I'm not uh, doing any catfishing right now, but come around April or May, I'm going to be out there, and I'm going to be uh, you know, filming the results of this, uh, and then I'll be uh, showing everyone just how well it works. So there we are. Um, today's uh, presentation was about using uh, a lot of different uh, foods that humans normally eat, and that you could turn it into catfish bait. You can do it very easily. It's not expensive, and it works. So good luck fishing out there.